We are. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. And it's great to be with you on this sunny Friday morning. Um, we are here on the Sammy session um, slightly later again on the Friday, but um, we will go Thursday or Friday, depending on um, people's availability. But it's great to be here. And Jodie's joined us and I'm going to get Jodie to introduce herself in a moment. Um, but yeah, we're here to talk a little bit today um, and have a chat with Jodie and see what her journey's been like and um, some of the things that we've gone if you've got any questions while we're going along you want to add ask a question you can add them in the comment section as normal um, you can also let us know what your biggest takeaway has been during the during the time and also let us know if you're getting value because we like to know what's happening if you've got any questions and you can't for some reason get them into the live comments you can send them through to my email today and i'm doing a rare thing that men seem not to be able to do which is i'm multitasking today because i can see emails i can see um jody i can see everything so it's absolutely fine but also you can place them in the comments box so if you're on start saying hello start saying good morning let us know who's on with us i can see there's a few people that have joined us um so just say hi and good morning and um jody thank you ever so much for coming on how are you i'm good thank you good, yeah. good 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 wonderful wonderful oh we've got someone on from the sammy team is saying good morning as well i think that might actually be sam is actually on so she'll also be possibly watching some emails as, as well um but she's um supposed to be having some holiday time this morning so she's um she's tuning in from sunny sunny bournemouth and uh having a bit of a break lorraine says good morning dennis michael says good morning so yeah everyone's starting to come in now and we're starting to build an audience which is good it's not just us two talking to each other <laughs> <laughs> yeah sam it is, it is sam that's in so um without further ado i think let's get started and i always say to everyone you know thank you for giving us your time because that is the most valuable commodity that we all have and we don't get it back so thank you for that and would you like to start by just introducing yourself to everyone jody and telling them who you are what you do and a little bit of background about yourself yeah, so i'm jody i'm one half of this mystics um the other half is my best friend, the business part and the partner Natalie. Um, we unfortunately can't be with us today because um, we both we run this mystics as business, but we both have part-time jobs as well. So it's been hard to sort of get us both together at the same time. Um, so yeah, um, until a couple of years ago, I didn't have any sort of business background at all until I met uh, Derek and Sam and the team. Um, I've always sort of worked in the leisure sort of industry. I've worked in leisure centres and done lifeguarding, recreation, um, sports coaching, and that sort of stuff. I worked in holiday parks. Um, and then about eight years ago, um, my nan had a leg amputated. So, and I adopted my daughter at the same time. And so I gave up my job and I worked uh, as my nan's full-time carer where I could take the kid, you know, my child with me and yeah. stuff, it all works out. Um, yeah, so uh, Nat and I have been friends for over sort of 20 years. Um, uh, in 2016, um, she went through a really, really tough time. Um, uh, one day she was around my house and I was making her dinner and um, she was in, a, you know, depressed and stuff. And I said to her, you know, think about the good times. Try and think about the good times, like happy memories. Um, and she did. And this, um, you know amazing thing happened it's her story to tell you know but this amazing thing happened mm -hmm. at that moment we realized that just by changing your emotions and your thoughts you can change the whole chemistry of your body and the way you feel just sort of in that moment so um from then we sort of started doing that's always done meditation i wasn't into meditation my mind's always sort yeah. of a bit on the go and um, i've always been doing stuff so we started doing this sitting down together and putting our hands on our hearts and we would slow our breathing um, and we would both sort of recall a memory um you know of someone that we loved or a place that we loved um and we would breathe in this feeling and this you know this it would just radiate this energy around us and it just you know it's this amazing feeling and we sort of 
from there it took us on this whole different path in life and we went away and learned about energy and you know heart brain coherence and meditation and yeah and then a couple of years ago we had this idea of creating this workshop um and our own business um we came across lorraine who works we both have live in sovereign housing so we yeah. came across lorraine um and you know natalie just told her this idea that we just had um and she passed us on to you guys to sammy the sammy project and we met sam and derek came around to my house and we pitched this idea of you know this workshop how we wanted to tell our story and how it helped you know to help other people and uh, yeah they said it was a good idea and you know derek became our mentor and um wonderful that was that <laughs> wonderful that's, and it's amazing and it is it's so true what you say how just with the emotions you know you start to talk to them about change how you're thinking and all of a sudden it just becomes different and the energy becomes different and i i love that they always say i'm the motivational one of the of the group because i i love that sort of thing and um yeah no it's great to hear and i know that derek has certainly and we'll, we'll come on to that a bit more but i know derek has absolutely loved the journey with seeing you grow and working with you and it's it's just been brilliant to watch so yeah we've got jody's um email address there so if you've got any questions from today you want to find out a little bit more about wisdom mystics then the you've got the email address there wisdom mystics at outlook.com or you can send something through to us and we can um we can also um uh, pass it on and ask the questions as well um sam is also saying your journey has been incredible and we're proud to be part of it so it's really good to see so yeah so when we finally when we finally managed to agree a date and it would have been amazing to have had um to have had you um both together but it's just been we yeah. this is this is one session that we've really we've loved doing all of them but this was one i was like we've got to get mystics on it's going to be <laughs> such a great session so yeah that can't be here um yeah yes, finished like half four so Derek saying he's aged Hello, about Derek. 10 years working with you. <laughs> <laughs> so bless him. He does he doesn't look like he's aged about 10 years. He looked very oh, relaxed. We, we did we did it. a session a couple of weeks ago with him and he looked very relaxed on his couch, you know. He was he was enjoying it, bless him. So so yeah, so it's great to hear where you've where you've come from and where you've got to and kind of some of the story behind that. Like you said, Nat's got her story as well, which is which yeah. is hers to share. And we'll see if we can get her maybe to share that one day in a in a post or in a video or something like that. Cause I think it'd be great for, for people to hear that. Yeah. Um Sam is saying, should have bought a new sofa, Derek. It would it would have kept you young. <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah, so let's um I think let's dive into things and um let's have a little chat about things. So you you kind of touched on it a little bit, but I think it'd be good to touch on it a little bit more. You said about um when um you talked about when uh, with meditation and that was usually that was the one that was into the meditation, but when did you first get into meditation and mindfulness? How did it help you? Me personally, yeah. uh, well, when we saw after we started doing the heart stuff and we went on you know a different path in life and i start started learning a lot about um heart and brain coherence and what you know when we're feeling these emotions like love compassion care appreciation mm -hmm. um, it it changes the heart signal you know your heart has its own brain and it sends this coherent signal to your brain and i was practicing so i was practicing these coherence meditations and mm. then um, afterwards i would just sit with the feeling you know this really you know energized feeling um and then i yeah i started learning all about different sorts of meditations i'd, I, anyway, I'd just sit with myself and i would sort of i learned to master my thoughts if you know what i mean i became mm. the observer of my thoughts i would just be sat and i'd notice these thoughts coming in but i wouldn't attach to them i'd notice them come in and then let them go and um yeah it was just like an incredible thing really i sort of learned to master my own thoughts um and i found this sort of peace inside of me um at, you know in this life force this life force energy and realized that I'm not you know, we're not just human beings there's something else you know we have mm -hmm. this soul and 
this energy when you're meditating you feel connected to everything you know the birds the sky and everything all right you know we're all we're all one we're all sort of one yeah. energy yeah. life and it's yeah it's just it's just yeah it's just fascinated me and it was an amazing experience and i've just gone on to now like i've i've qualified as a meditation teacher now i've done my advanced meditation diploma so i can i'm qualified to teach in schools and organizations and wherever now so yeah it took me on this amazing sort of journey so wonderful wonderful and it's brilliant and that when you start to learn how to get, work with your brain a little bit more and control those thoughts and I know you know I've always been an avid fan of personal development and doing that stuff in the morning and you know looking after your mind and getting it in the right so I, I know exactly what you mean about you know yeah. having those thoughts and mastering where it's going from it's such a, yeah, such a wonderful actually, thing. you think your brain sends the signals to your heart but it's actually your heart sends more signals to your brain mm. um, you know, so when you're living by your heart, you, you you send this information to your brain, and your brain brain sends out all the feel good hormones in your body, and that's what makes you you feel good. Absolutely, absolutely, and I think we need as much of that as possible at the moment yeah. with with Especially everything with that's going, going on now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, what made you decide that you wanted to use what you were learning to help others? Because we know it works. It's worked for us. Um, you know, it's changed both our lives. I went on a completely different path in life. Um, you know, I believe this is now my sort of sole purpose and what I was supposed to do with my life. And if you look at Natalie, how she was before, and to get out of like the darkest hole a parent could ever go through, you know, and now she can stand up and talk to other people about what she's been through. That's just an incredible, you know, thing to be able to do. Um, you know it works so she uses yeah. the sex to, to 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 have got her out of that hole and you know so yeah just there standing up and talking to people shows that it really does work so yeah yeah, yeah which is good and, and it's amazing when you see people able to do that and you know as we're talking through if people have got any questions around meditation around mindfulness around those kind of things that we're talking about today then you know feel free to put your comments into the banner um and if you can't get them your comments in there then do feel free to send me through an email ricky at sammy.co.uk i can pick those up as well today um but yeah absolutely we'd love to hear from people or any experiences i think as well if people have had similar experiences where they've used this in a way that's helped them them, then then you know share them with us because it'd be good to hear what people have been doing so tell me a little bit about wisdom mystics then because obviously i know and, and and some of us watching today know about wisdom mystics but for those that are kind of maybe seeing you the first time tell them a little bit about wisdom mystics and the services and what you offer and what you do so yeah wisdom mystics is um to start with it was about creating this workshop um, so wisdom mystics actually wisdom means your head knowledge wisdom mystics means using your heart your heart's intuition so it's it, it, it name means heart and brain coherence um so we offer yeah like the workshop which is it's a more about emotional well-being so it's about being a recognizing what you're feeling and your emotions and then being able we, we teach the techniques to self-regulate those emotions so um yeah we teach self-awareness self-regulation uh we teach breath work the importance of you know what when when you slow your breathing you can hack into your nervous system what happens in your nervous system what hormones are released so we go into a little bit of science about what happens when you feel a certain way and then we do um the heart focused meditation and then we finish off with some creative stuff because um we all know when we're stressed um the thinking part of your brain gets cut off mm. by the emotional memory bank so you can't think properly so um after doing a meditation and the coherence it sort of opens that creative thinking part of your brain up so we always finish off doing something really nice and creative at the end of the workshop um we also we were doing classes before the lockdown we were doing weekly meditation classes um obviously that's all had to stop at the moment um um, I'm going to be offering one-to-one -one meditation and mindfulness and breath work. Um, hopefully over Zoom, which you're going to help me with. Um, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah. Also, 
um, I've just finished a heart math coaching course. So I'm going to be doing a four weekly, a four weekly program on teaching um, coherence and using biofeedback technology. So people hook them up and then take them through the techniques and it shows them, you know, on the screen, uh, this coherence and their heart signals change and everything. So that's something Derek's helping me with again now, actually. So I'm back in, Wonderful. you know, still helping me with that. So Yeah. And that sounds amazing, hooking up to the heart and seeing how the heart yeah, goes. That, that's going to be really cool. Being the coherence, um, it's all measured through your heart, your HRV, so your heart rate variability. So yeah. the higher your heart rate variability, the higher coherence you have in your body. So Amazing, amazing. I can't wait to see. I think I might have to give that a go when that's set up, just to yeah. experience it. <laughs> um and and so, uh, the the team are actually asking have you got um are you doing any on, online workshops at the moment so i think that kind right. of you touched yeah. on that anyway so that's something that's, you're yeah, looking to do helping us with that because both of us are not very good with technology unfortunately <laughs> Natalie can push a button and blow a computer screen up so uh yeah so you're going to help us with that hopefully um so we can yeah. start workshops online um I've got a friend who's opening um, a brand new sort of well-being, fitness, nutrition, big space in New Milton. Um, that's been yeah. built at the moment. So she's um, offered us the space to go and do workshops. Um, obviously, we don't know what's going on with the whole lockdown thing at the moment. So we are looking to go online with weekly meditation and, and workshops. And Yeah. Yeah. And that would be great. And that's something we're definitely going to work together on with the online and the social media stuff and the, and the bringing you online um, so that you can adapt the business to to fit the climate at the moment. So that's going to be great. So it's going to be good to work on on that and see as that comes through and see with the other stuff that's coming through that Derek's working with with you. I think it's I think it's a really exciting time for you. So it's great. It's amazing. Yeah, so, we it right now. I mean, there's a lot of fear going on in the world and we we want to sort of, we've got this idea we want to uh, create a coherent community yeah and that's like you know get people out of this state of fear and back into you know love and compassion and appreciation and wonderful wonderful and I, I think we've touched on it a little bit already but let's just talk a little bit more about how has working alongside Sammy and having the mentorship, how has that helped you? What difference do you feel that's made? Um, it's helped us massively. I mean, to be honest, it would probably still be an idea right now. <laughs> We'd still be talking about doing it, I would think, if it hadn't been for um, Sammy, uh, you guys and Derek. Um, you know, Derek's motivated us so much. It's like every, he would come around over to my house every other week and he'd give us like tasks to do and we'd have to meet sort of deadlines and that would motivate us to get, get actually get stuff done, which we probably wouldn't yeah. have done before. Um, you know, uh, yeah, he gave us sort of, he set out practice sessions. So we'd go and, you know, practice, practice workshops and practice meditation sessions. Um, Sam would, you know, she'd always give us all the contacts to help us set up, you know, online stuff or logo stuff or, you know, if we needed someone, there was always someone there. There was always a contact. Yeah. And you know, we just have to pick up the phone and 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 they we anything we needed, we got help with. So we we really really do appreciate everything you guys have done for us, and we will be forever grateful because, it, like I said, we probably wouldn't be we wouldn't be doing what we're doing now if it wasn't for you guys. So wonderful and it's good to hear that it's made that difference as well because when you do the mentoring and when you work with people and i know derek would probably say this as well you know when you work with people when you start to see the results you know what you're doing is supporting and is helping and is making a difference to people and that's that's more rewarding than anything seeing that actually yeah. by helping that person you get to watch them grow and develop and you get to see everything that comes forward so it's amazing um amazing to see the results that are coming as a result of your hard work and us supporting you with that and just giving you that encouragement to to grow is is a really good really good working partnership so it's great um lorraine has actually asked a um question will your sessions also have adaptive versions so lorraine has a uh a, a, a challenge where actually she can't sit up for very long she has to be more led more horizontal um so that's what she's asking there will your sessions um have adaptive versions 
Yeah, I mean, when we actually do um, the meditations, a lot of people lay down. They have pillows and blankets, um, and they all lay down. As long as you're comfortable when you're doing it, I mean, it's just about creating this coherent state. So you can be sat, you know, wherever you want, really, as long as you're comfortable um, and, you you know, you really feel the, you know, what's going on. It doesn't matter how you, you don't have to, you know, like a lot of meditation, you, they, they sit, you know, they say sit up straight and stuff. This is more about coherence to, in our meditations. So you, it is, you can do as, you know, as long as you're comfortable, you can do it wherever you want. Wonderful. So the good news is we can lie down, stand up, do a handstand. Yeah ever works brilliant that's that's, that's people amazing get up more so they don't sort of fall asleep when they're doing it yeah 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 that's that's brilliant but yes we can do the adaptive versions which is good yeah. um so um and um lorena said thanks for that it's reassuring so that's good um so sam has actually said as well we're making her all emotional she's <laughs> glad that she delayed her trick to listen to you so that that's oh, thank, you. thank you for helping us sam excellent well she's i think i think it's good to know that um she's delayed her trip and actually we're getting a we're getting a positive response from that so i won't be in trouble next week when she comes back <laughs> in i delayed my trip <laughs> so that's good um so i think um We've talked about some of the mentorship and we've talked a little bit about what you're doing um, and we've talked about how we're going to adapt and how that's going to move forward. Um, why why do you feel it's important to use meditation and work on your mind when being self-employed? What do you think the benefits of that are? Uh, well, to stay calm, one thing, you know, because there's a lot of, you, you come across a lot of challenges, don't you? And it all yeah. falls on yourself when you're self-employed, you know, it's, you've yeah. got to deal with it yourself. So, you know, to be able to self-regulate your emotions on the spot, um, mm -hmm. you know, that builds resilience. You're more sort of able to roll with the punches if things come about that you're not expecting. Yeah, it just keeps you in this calm, calm, balanced, yet energised state, I would say amazing amazing and i think you know uh, maybe maybe we need some of that heading up the line to the to the powers that are without getting into a political conversation <laughs> the powers that are running the country at the moment might yeah. need some of that calm you know, <laughs> approach that that actually that would make a big difference wouldn't it prime time rather than the news let's have wisdomistics doing a calm you know yeah. bringing every calm to everyone i think that'd be good and it's actually and, um when you get into this when you're, when you're using these heart emotions, you've, you've got this electromagnetic field around you. Yeah. It's 5,000 times stronger than your brain. And it actually, it, it expands when you're doing this coherence and you can, you can, it can influence other people. So like you say, oh when God. you come into the office and you're all energized and yeah, it, people feel that it's like a vibe, like a vibration. So you can actually, you know, project that out into the rest of your community or, excellent excellent and derek saying it was an absolute pleasure working with them seeing them grow they really deserve to succeed so that's good to hear thank you derek so, yeah um so in terms of what advice and techniques could you suggest to help someone to become calmer when they're anxious say just before a meeting or something like that if someone's going into a meeting or doing a presentation what techniques can you suggest to them that will help them uh i would say three Heart focused breathing would be the first first step if you're stressed or anxious before going into a meeting. Um, I mean, I think I even did it before I did this because I was really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, just slowing your, as soon as you slow your breathing down, you're hacking into the nervous system. So as soon as I'd say breathe in, you know, don't have to put your hand on your heart. I always do it. Breathe in for five seconds, breathe out for five seconds. Take your attention, you know, out of your head and just imagine the breath flowing in through your heart and out through your heart and you're literally as soon as you say you're breathing you're telling your body you're calm and you're safe and yeah that, that's that's one of the main things i would do before good or if you're nervous about anything it just calms your whole body down excellent excellent no i like that that's that's a really good thing and it is you know the meditation stuff i've done they always have a focus on the slower slowing the breathing yeah, down and the first thing deeper. i tell you to do is slow the breathing because that as soon as you do that everything in your body calms down so 
brilliant brilliant i i can just imagine now the people that have been watching they're going to have there will be meetings all over the place next week or on video and things like that where everyone will be going jody said slow down breathe breathe calmer <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be good so we're already making a difference which is great um yeah. so what, how has the current situation affected you? And I think we've touched on this a little bit anyway, but how has, this, how has the situation, current situation affected the business and what challenges are you facing and how are you adapting to this? Which we've touched on, but let's... let's yeah, so obviously, just literally two weeks before lockdown, we've, we've, come, we've made this new class and it um, involved some uh, breathing techniques. We've made different breathing techniques um, and then the meditation and then some light stretching and stuff afterwards and we you know we just started it was going to be at st Catherine's Hill. it was a new daytime one and then literally two weeks in we got locked down so it, yeah we had to stop doing our classes and our workshops i mean i have put a couple of little techniques up online um just to sort of help people just a quick videos um so yeah we we have a, we've we sort of stopped really during the lockdown. We've both been working still part time through. Well, I've, I think that stopped for a bit, but I've had to work all through um, the lockdown as well. So, um, yeah, I've well, I've used it in my advantage because I've actually finished my meditation diploma and I finished uh, did the heart maths as well. So I've literally been working. I've been studying the whole time. So really, now I'm more knowledgeable. So yeah, now it's about creating this online um, stuff. I think. Um, good and just go and see what happens with the rest of the world but yeah we we'll wait i'm waiting for your help ricky really to, to <laughs> well we're happens. gonna have we're gonna have a session after this aren't we about <laughs> online and we're yeah. gonna start talking about that to 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 get that moving for you so so yeah. yeah so we're gonna we're gonna start immediately after this session you're not allowed a breathing space that's it we're in momentum we're gonna get going with it so yeah, so yeah. <laughs> behind, the, behind the scenes <laughs> it's gonna be our after, after show party is gonna be a session around yeah, online yeah, social right. media. <laughs> we, we know how to live <laughs> so so I think, I mean, knowing from knowing what you know now from from your journey that you you've been on, if you were to yeah. go back to your younger self, what 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 sort of advice and what sort of things would you say? Oh, going back to my younger self, um, I would say follow your heart. Don't just jump into that. Well, if you have to, obviously do a, a, a job you don't like to earn money. You do that, but still work on the sidelines and follow your dream what you really want to do because um you know I think I believe everybody has a sole purpose on this earth and we're here, all here to teach something or you know yeah follow follow your dreams and just do whatever makes you happy I think anything that makes you happy go with it excellent I like that advice anything that makes you happy go with it go yeah. with it in the office, in the office, biscuits make us very happy, and Sam's very, very good at going with that one. She, 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 does look after us. Yeah. She, did, she does look after us. She does sneak in, sneak in a packet of biscuits every now and again to keep us happy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, but no, that's that's really good. That's really good, and I think that's that's kind of um, covered everything. We have had an email just come in apparently yeah. so we've had an email in um this is amazing i have the confidence to push forward now thank you jody so that's good so someone watching has just sent an email to say that's been given the confidence and that's been really really helping them so that's good to hear yeah. um and and i think you know i th i think we're only going to see more and more greater things from wisdom mystics and from from yourself and from that i think as you grow it's definitely going to be something to watch and and the world like we said needs it at the moment as well you know we're in a state of fear and you know Derek will completely tell me off for this but if we could do it for free we would <laughs> he'll kill me for saying that because we believe in it so much we know it helps people and you know everyone yeah yeah stuff. Yeah, he he will absolutely tell you off for that. Yeah, yeah, say, yeah. You know, you know, we all will. <laughs> funny enough, we all will. You know, um, there there is a story about um um cotton that I'm famous for in the office that they always share when people are not charging for every aspect of what they're thing. I always they tell the cotton story of um 
of how I said to someone, well, actually, over 10 years, it's going to cost you this many thousands of pounds. So do you want to just give me the money now or do you want to start charging for the cotton? So, so yeah, so absolutely. I'll back Derek up on that one as much as you'd love to do it for free. Well, you know, we, you know, we want people to learn this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But that's good because that passion will drive you forward. I think that's that's the good thing about it. Um, Lorraine is actually saying if you need any gu guinea pigs for a friendly test audience for a pra practice webinar, just let us know. So yeah, I think we've already got... we'll definitely have to do some practice ones first. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think we can get a few people involved in that. So that's absolutely fine. I'm sure that Sam and Derek and everyone will join in on an online practice webinar. Um, I'll get in trouble for volunteering them now, but you know, that we, we can have a practice session to allow you to feel a safe environment to, to run these. But yeah, I think it's just you getting used to online versus versus the yeah. um it's just yeah. Difficult. It's just getting yeah. used to yeah yeah Computers absolutely scary. <laughs> absolutely any final thoughts that you would like to oh no hold on sam has said i am in so yeah sam's volunteered so Another we'll get there. yeah we'll get sam to to involve the trustees as well and pull them all in so we'll we'll have derek will definitely be there um <laughs> simon will be there we'll have wayne there as well i'll join in as well so we'll, we'll all join in and, and we'll give you a safe session um and we can offer that out and we'll discuss that offline and so that so that we're not giving too much away um but yeah any any final thoughts you want to share any final things that you want to give people to take away with them from today not really no just try and not you know get into this state of fear that's going on at the moment with the government are just pushing this fear mongering out everywhere you know i think it's important to try and stay heart-centered yeah as much as possible brilliant brilliant karen has also said count me in i i love the session i had with jody and nat so so yeah there you are You've got someone someone saying, yep, yeah, I've done it before and I want to do it again. So that's yeah, always good. <laughs> we, know, we know we're on a winning streak there. Um, Jody, it has been amazing. Thank you thank for joining you. us. Thank you for sharing your time. It thank is a goodbye. Me. From me. And it's a goodbye from Jody, I'm sure. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. Wonderful. And we will be back again the same time next week with another Sammy Wiz session. We're building the momentum up. We're enjoying um, chatting to everyone. We've got some people lined up. But if you also know anyone else that you feel might be useful or you've got something in specific that you want, want to hear from us, then absolutely let us know. We've got lovely session. Thank you. Everyone's enjoyed it. So that's it from us. We will see you next week uh, with different guest, another topic, um, and speak to you then. Take care.